Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's, what is it? <clears throat> it's nine o'clock on Sunday. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. So, uh, hello. How's it going? I just, uh, you know, we were kind of laying low here today. I went out and got gas earlier. That was pretty exciting. Um, the, uh, uh, the family Christmas thing that I uh, normally would go to on a day like today, uh, was canceled due to illness, um, which freed me up to do things like get gas. Um, and, and that's about it. And while I was out getting gas, um, the gas station had this for sale. So I bought one of these. It's a fruit punch. It specifically says loco fruit punch, not just fruit punch. Um, I don't know. So I thought I would get one of these. This is only 12%, so it's really not... Um, you know, it's not like people treat Four Loco like it's some kind of ticking time bomb, but it's it's just bad. It's just a bad malt beverage. What do they even say about it here? Premium malt beverage with artificial flavor and certified color, 23.5 fluid ounces. That's one pint and 7.5 fluid ounces. So, yeah, I don't know. It's mostly just food coloring. Honestly. <clears throat> so, uh, why don't we get into this, uh, this Four loco and play some, uh, just get into some interactive entertainment. Uh, that's what I brought tonight. Here. So. Crack that open. Here's to you. Merry New Year. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. It's not very good, is it? When it had the energy drink stuff in it, at least, you know, it was... It was doing something to you that you could agree with. You're like, well, I need this nightmare to happen. So, and this is the fastest way to make the nightmare happen. Uh, but now that it's not an energy drink. And it's just like 12 ounce, you know, was it 12% whatever. Like, you know, mixed drinks like cocktails or something like that are going to be more, are going to be stronger than this. So. At least the way I make them. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing drinks strong. I'm. I don't know. So I wanted to get into some very fine video games here. Um, interactive things. Um, I have not heard back from El Gato in a few days. I imagine that they have holiday stuff, you know, uh, and they're, they're just not around answering email. So I still have not figured out the um, stream solution for some of these older systems. I got a PS2 and a PS3 and a Saturn sitting over here. I had a Jaguar in here. I put it back out in the garage because it's just, you know, kind of waiting to get this technical stuff figured out. But, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that there's nothing to stream because we've got hot action, hot games. Uh, how do it turned off? How do I make it go? Um, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Okay. I like to just making that make the noise, honestly. Okay. So let's uh let's get into it here. What do, um spell above. Okay. A B O V E that is correct. Now spell wild. W I L D You are correct. Next 
text spell sign S. Okay. I. G. N. That is right. Now try every. E. V. R. E. V. E. R. Y. Gotta type slow. All right. Try range. 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 Okay. R. A. N. G. E. That is correct. Now spell does. D. U. Z. Wrong. Try again. Does. D. O. E. S. You are correct. Next spell extra. E. X. T. R. A. That is right. Now try wash. W. A. S. H. You are right. Try T. You are right. Wait, what? T. 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 Is that key? T. Or is that T? If it was T, it would say T as in golf T or something like that. So it's got to be key. K. E. Y. That is correct. Now spell once. O. N. C. E. You are correct. Here is your score. Nine correct. One wrong. <sighs> Even if you get it right on the second try, it still counts as getting one wrong, which is tough but fair. I, I feel uh, the, on, on the part of the folks that speak and spell. You can play hangman with a speaking spells, but this mystery word thing is here. What is that? That's all right. What do we got? Um, I don't. I can't remember the letter frequency table quite off the top of my head, but e. Okay, we got an e in there. A. All right, we got an s. R. S. T. Is it street? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be. Is it? It wouldn't be streak or stream. E. Ah. D. You win. I like when you win because he sounds so defeated. You win. Like smarmy almost. Like, oh, you win. Fuck you, man. Speaking spells a dick is what I'm saying. So. They actually sold modules for this thing that you can install in the back um, that would add new words and sometimes games or something like that, but so if we hit the module select button, now it should be in spell, say you, as in, say you, the frogs. Whoa. S. A, V, E, that is correct. Now spell fever. Fever. F, E, V, E, R. I like every sound the speak and spell makes. I feel like every single sound a speak and spell makes is something you could sample. Uh, I sampled a speak and spell once. Um, Freeze Pop had a speak and spell bit at one point in one of their songs. You are correct. Next spell, the mystery word. The word for what Harvey is. The mystery word. The word for what Harvey is. This is probably a key time to point out that this is an ET-themed module. So... Is there a character named Harvey in ET? Uh, Harvey E.T. Oh, okay. The E.T. wiki. Okay, I'm seeing a picture of a dog here. I'm going to... D.O.G. That is right. Now try <laughs> sick as when E.T. and Elliot were sick. That's a really ham-fisted way to cram E.T. references into the sick, as in when E.T. and Elliot were sick. 
Like, I don't, it's just, just say sick. Like, there's nothing confusing about the word sick. S I K K. Wrong. Try again. Sick. Sick. S I C C. That is incorrect. The correct spelling of sick is S I C K. Sick. Try room as in repaint the grungy room. Are these lines from E.T.? I don't even remember. R O O M. That is correct. Now spell from as in from the moon. F R O M. You are correct. Next spell book. B O O K. That is right. Now that is try right. alone. B U T T H O L E wrong. Try again. Alone. A L O N E. You are right. Try you are right. asleep as in asleep in the forest. Oh, as in asleep in the forest. Okay. A S L E E P. I was going to spell it like asleep on the toilet. But. That is correct. Now spell makes as when E.T. makes the communicator. M-A-K-E-S. You are correct. Here is your score. Eight correct. We Two did it. wrong. We did it. Hooray for us. We got it, we got it done. I love how speak and spell sounds, but I, I never had any of the other ones. Um, and, you know, nowadays through the magic of of MAME, through, you know, the power of emulation, um, we can really dig into some of this other stuff. Like, oh. Solve it. Level one. That's just a cool noise, man. Listen to that. It's nuts. Launch it again here. Solve it. Level one. Fucking mind blower. Word zap. Level one. Word zap. I don't know what word zap is. Zap the word dogs. Zap the word dogs. That's not dogs. That's not dogs. Uh, yes, the answer is dogs. I zapped dogs. Now, zap the word lands. Uh, you're right. Yes, lands is the answer. Come on. And you zap the word backwards. Oh, man. Is that backward? No. You mean like without looking at the screen backwards? Uh, great. The correct word is backwards. No, the correct word is backward. What? You... Next, zap the word amp. Amp? Uh, very good. The answer is Very amp. good. Next, zap the word green. All right, that's not it. Uh, very good. The answer is green. I feel we're doing all right so far. Perfect score. Press go Fuck yeah. to do some more. Press go to do some more. I don't know. What's word maker? Uh, word maker, level one. Press the letters! Say you love Satan! Say it! P. Wrong. Try again. At P. Two. And what word does it make? Say it. Press the letters. Oh, it wants me to type the whole thing in. P Press the letters! A. 
N. Yes, the answer is N. Great. Say it. A T two ag. What word does it make? Say it. Press the letters. T A T. You're right. Tag is the answer. Let's try the letter what word does it make? Say it. Press the letters. Uh, letter stumper. Level one. Press the letters. I say T. 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 E. T. E. This is hard. T E A. Oh. T E A. T E A Q. Fucking what? T E A Q. T E A Q Q. T E A Q Q. You win. Press go. To do some more. You win. Press go to do some more. Ah. Speak and read doesn't have the same draw that speak and spell does, you know? It's also... Well, this is a different... <laughs> Let's say there's something in here called speak and rescue, but I don't think... Yeah, this is <laughs> this is something else entirely. Press go to do some more. synthesis of the 80s is sometimes a difficult is a large golden retriever who belongs to Elliot. He is initially hostile towards E.T. when they first meet, but E.T. manages to control him with his telepathy. What? The alien tricked the dog? That's fucked up. I don't approve of that. Not one bit. Anyway, Puyan is another game. Uh, if you remember right, uh, I believe it is, it's a uh, Rogue Legacy that has a Puyan style game in it, right? I'm not making that up. Uh, was it Rogue Legacy that, or is it something else? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, we got Puyan, Buyan, Mama, Wolf, and Boss. Uh, this is um, a game from Konami 
which uh, was a video game company. They used to make games in the 80s. So we'll get the meat missile here. We'll fire this meat missile and try and get them all at once. We'll fail, but we'll hit enough of them. Calculate the bullet drop on that meat missile. There's a whole ballistic smodeling going on. It's pretty intense. second smaller balloon. Well, maybe it's just a smaller balloon inside the big balloon, and you're popping the big balloon to reveal. If you read my pamphlet on balloon dynamics... get up there, they push that boulder over on top of you, and that's bad. You don't want that to happen. So here in the bonus stage, it's only meat. I can't shoot my regular arrows. If you got wolves on the ladder, shit, man. You know? 
I know you know. Bad meat. I primarily played this game, you know, maybe we should be playing that version instead. Um, I primarily played the Atari home computer, the 8-bit computer version of this. Uh, because I owned that on cartridge. game that I've ever touched but don't own. I don't know. Uh, at this point, I, you know, I've... Uh, you know, it might be a pinball machine like an F-14 Tomcat or something like that. Um... almost certainly an arcade machine. Uh, because those are, you know, hard to own. <laughs> it's hard to own arcade machines. They take up a lot of space. Uh, they are hard to keep working, you know? See, I don't think this bonus stage was in the, in the Atari version. I think, I think it was just the other one. You had an opportunity to own a Galaga machine and you turned it down. That's, uh... That's how it fucking goes sometimes. VR have to be for you to not rather just have that space taken up by arcade cabinet and pinball machines. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, the, the space where I have my arcade machines would be a decent vibe space. You could do it. Um, but it's cooler to have arcade machines there. And right now our Christmas tree is there as well. See, when the wolves get on the ladder. I, 
have been doing VR stuff a little bit more here at home. I, I cleared the space in this room so I can use the rift. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not room scale. Um, I don't have enough. I only have two front sensors, so you know, it's not ideal. But you can do it. It's it's not. Also, it's not ideal because it's not a big enough space. Um, for some of the the bigger room scale experiences. off the fucking decoy balloons. That's savage. There, uh, I mean, multiple teams are trying to do VR Battle Royale. I mean, that's, some of that stuff's in early access on Steam now. You know, a damn, a, an almost 12-minute game of Puyan is that's, that's pretty good. I think it would be fun to own a DDR machine and have a permanent DDR setup, like with a, a good hard stage. Um, I think that would be cool. <clears throat> but I don't know if um I haven't seen any of like the newer DDR machines, you know. So I don't know if like any of the like, I, I would want the old DDR songs, right? So, uh, you know, I want, like, third mix, basically. But also, I mean, I, w I would want a bunch of... Like, if you're going to own a DDR machine, you want a zillion songs. So, I wouldn't actually want a third mix machine, but I would definitely want all the songs from third mix. Um, and I don't know if... I don't know what newer DDR machines have. I know they're, like, all, like, fucking... DRM connected to the internet and all this other shit. Um, so, you know, they, they can kind of add songs later or whatever it is. Um, yeah. Food Fight or Burger Time. Yeah, that would be... Dude, Food Fight is such a good game. Charlie Chuck. Your boy. But it doesn't emulate well because it was a weird joystick. It's like a 49-way 49, 49 stick, I think. Um, but it, it's like it's not quite an 8-way thing. Oh, this game is so dope. I used to draw pictures of this game. Um, in school and stuff. Yeah, so it just, you know, because it's a weird joystick, it uses analog, which is good because it has to, you have to be able to throw at all the weird angles. It's not just an eight-way throw. Oops. Getting greedy. Jaw has the high score on this machine. Beans are weird. They don't, uh, you know, they're like shotgun blasts. They don't fly real well. 
So you get down here to these things and, you know, look at them, they just spread out. Oh! Bananas, though. I always felt like they should have made the bananas boomerang, you know? Like, if they're gonna make the beans or whatever, like, dissipate like that, then why not make the... other stuff do have, you know, interesting properties? Oh, man, no! Ah. Watermelon stage, here we go. Watermelon is infinite, so you can just dump. As long as you're standing on a watermelon, but... Ultimately, you still kind of just want to get to the ice cream. All bananas. <laughs> Fuck this stage. Be job. Job less, I guess. Well. <laughs> Fabulous food flingers, the three F's, right there. Food Fight's a very good game. I mean, Burger Time is also a very good game. But you know what is not a good game? Is 1990's Super Burger Time. So that's pretty good. Trap any of the enemies in the burger and start adding these extra layers to it. Trying to move it away to keep out of uh, keep out of view. Um, XSplit is very weird in how it handles audio. I'm finding uh, because it does not have like an individual source volume thing. It's just like 
you have microphone audio and overall audio. So you can't turn down everything without also turning down the microphone, which is just fucking strange. You know, I, I'm relatively new to it, so maybe I'm missing something. There are ways to go into the individual sources and do some stuff, but like... Only if it's coming in externally. So, like, if you're capturing a PC game or a window on your PC or something like that, there's no way to do that. So, it's tricky. Problems with OBS that make you want to use XSplit? Yeah, well, I was running a stream last week. Was it last weekend? Weekend before? And OBS crashed, like, twice and was just non-functional. Um, so I bought XSplit in the middle of that stream. I gotta, this is, it's hot in here. Okay. Huh. <sighs> I mean, Real Burger Time is a great game, though. We'll wait for it to load off cassette. What am I drinking? Well, if you're just joining us, um, this is about a third of a can of Fruit Punch for Loco. This is good music, good animations, good sound effects, like everything about Burger Time is good. Except you don't have enough pepper. You never have enough pepper. Even when I get this ice cream, which picking up the ice cream gives you more pepper. Yeah. Oh. Zookeeper, man, you just got like, calling out all the true classics, huh? It's how I want it. Go what you want on your burger. Meat. Done. It's not true. I want a cheeseburger. It's fucked up over here. Eggs on burgers are good. You're right. I don't know what this burger is over here on the left. What is that supposed to be? It's like a vegan patty or something. 
ribs. Tomato, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's tomato. Here you go. Tomato on a burger bun. Enjoy. Fucking dumbass. Also, I can do without the noise it makes when you're out of pepper. Just to remind you, like, hey, you super have no pepper. Oh. No extra pepper when you die. Oh, no. Cutting it close. That's what you get. I like the this uh, this uh, high score entry because he 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 carries the letters down there. Peter Pepper puts in work, you know. Doing a Mega Five Hundred stream sometime. I, yeah, what? Eighty percent of your users don't know anything about it. I feel like I don't know enough about it because every time I try to do any Amiga streaming, I ask people for games. Um, and I'm usually interested, like, hey, you know, tell me, tell me the games that were not ports, because um, a lot of games got ported to the Amiga from arcades or whatever. Like, what are the original Amiga games? And and so we end up playing Cannon Fodder every time. And every time I go, like, yeah, Cannon Fodder is pretty cool. And we play Lemmings, um, which you know obviously was on a zillion different platforms. Um, so. Yeah, like, it's always this, like, weird hunt for, like, Amiga exclusives. Um, and some of those games <laughs> haven't aged super well. Don't waste peppers. You start with only five. Earn extra peppers, bonuses, claim cones, coffees, and fries. That rhymes. Shadow of the Beast, yeah. Shadow of the Beast is... Uh, yeah, Return Fire. Um, I primarily played Return Fire on the 3DO. Um, which is a pretty good version of the game, I think. Uh, Chaos Engine came out on the Genesis as Soldier of Fortune. Uh, and I don't think it's very good. Um, Rainbow Islands is an arcade game. Uh... Zool and Turrican, like, maybe those are the best versions of it. Yeah. Keep the mic 100%, turn out volume on everything else, down to, like, 15 or 30. You can also adjust things in the Windows volume mixer. So I actually have my Windows volume set super low, but the overall volume doesn't matter. I'm sure if I turned it down in the actual mixer, like, on a per-app basis, that would probably change things, and I haven't done that yet, but, but yeah. Um, I have not fully explored the volume setting options because at some point it's just a fucking hassle, man. I mean, I guess honestly, like I could always just do this, um, in this specific program. Um, hi Durkins. Hi. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, you know, I, I, I recognize that sometimes the holidays can be a shitty fucking time for people. Uh, do you think they still hold, still hold the trademark on Mr. Hot Dog? Because I'm trying to open a restaurant and, you know. Um, yeah, no, I, you know, it's, it's part of the reason I think why we, why I like the idea of the Game of the Year stuff going up, you know around this time of year you know there's there's definitely like some logistical things of like oh push it to january or whatever and like eh, i actually really like it going up between christmas and new year's because it's this weird downtime for a lot of people and um you know i've definitely had years where i just don't really know what to do with myself um around this time of year so so i kind of get it um you know i don't i don't you know, like this year, 
ended up being a little different for me uh because my what is it she's my great aunt i think she's my mom's aunt so she's my great aunt and um she caught a cold you know she's she's uh she caught a cold or something and she always does christmas for christmas eve and so it's not happening this year so um i got some time to just kind of do stuff um i mean my wife is here obviously like she's hanging out doing her thing um so i'm not gonna be like 12 hours long time stream you know but you know it's nice i think um I think everyone could use a little fucking downtime before we get into next year, honestly, with the way this year has gone. Uh, it's been... What a fucking nightmare, right? Um, so... It's tough out there. It's very tough out there. So there's another um, game in the Peter Pepper... Uh, Film, gameography, I guess. Um, known as Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory. And it's, you know, it's a follow-up to Burger Time from 1984. So before they did that Super Burger Time thing. And I don't know a lot about Ice Cream Factory. I know it exists, but we'll load it up here and see how it goes. Yes, the Pepperverse. Timer to upcoming content, 4 p.m. means nothing to you. The, the site actually is supposed to translate into your local time. Um, so when you look at the upcoming, that time on the side is supposed to be your local time. If you're, you know, on a fucking VPN or something shady like that, um, that's going to disrupt it, obviously. But uh, but it is supposed to show in, in your upcoming time. So the stuff's going up at 8 p.m. Pacific, which is... Um, Ten and a half hours from now is when the first podcast will go up. Uh, is Peter Pepper related to the Spice Girls? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Your wife bought you a new gaming laptop. What should you load up? I don't know. <laughs> um, gosh, you know. Um, I think fighting games have been pretty good on the PC this year. Uh, the PC version of Tekken's quite good. Um, Injustice 2 is a pretty good, you know, despite everything that Warner has done on the PC over the last couple of years, it seems like um, that version of that game is pretty okay. Now I remember this game. Now I remember trying to play this and being like, man, fuck this game. Peter Pepper deserves better. Because what is that chasing you? It's a... a scale. Uh, it's a jug of water it's donuts it's a walking strawberry that thing's a fucking nightmare and then you have to try to kick the ice cream onto the cones i guess uh 1984 a post crash peter pepper ice cream factory game <laughs> Okay, I can jump. I don't have pepper. But I guess I can jump over stuff. Do I need to try to, like... It seems to be a one-button game. Okay, so I can kind of kick the ice cream into him, but can I kick the ice cream up a level? Or am I just fucked? Like, did I just... Oh, man. I can move it down. 
down. Oh. Yo, you can make giant ice creams. It's not that, not that, but is that not the end of the level? Oh, I guess I had two ice creams not dealt with. Does he still do the thing? He does. Good. I'm glad they kept that. Everything about this game seems sub fucking par compared to Burger Time. I mean, I get why they would want to make another Peter Pepper game. Um, but every attempt they had after Burger Time was just uh, a sad, a sad thing. Sinistar, fuck. All right. Sinistar is a hard game, but awesome, but an awesome game. This game uses a 49-way joystick just like NFL Blitz does. All these Williams games, you have to let them boot up once to restore the factory settings and then reset it. Sin Immortals. I hunger. I hunger. I hunger. I hunger. I hunger. I I I I hunger. The Bubbles choice. Yeah, uh, Bubbles is forty nine way also, isn't it? So, uh, the emulator gets around this by just using an analog stick, which roughly approximates the 49-way-ness of the original. Um, but it's not quite as good, and, and that's a bummer, but it works okay. We need Cinnabombs. We need Cinnabombs bad. We need Cinnabon also. So if you have not played Sinistar, uh, those are miners, those are workers. Uh, they are trying to uh, get these glowy things out of these planetoids, these these uh, asteroids here, so that they can build a giant fucking evil fucking yelling devil face. And I use those same things to build bombs that I will use to blow up their evil fucking devil face. They've already got six pieces. Ugh. Eleven Cinnabombs, ten pieces. I think they only need like two or three more pieces. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. All right, fuck this. We need to cheat. Uh... I hunger. Nope. Infinite lies, infinite bombs, invincibility. Sure, why not? Why not go for all of them? Uh... All right, so now we've got hella cinna bombs. That noise tells you that Sinistar is within scanner range. Um, so I think you can't necessarily... So there's only one part of Sinistar here, and I can blow it up. But you can't actually finish the level until they finish building Sinistar. Uh, you have to kill a complete Sinistar uh, for, for it to count. And so there's kind of a strategy of, like, if you feel like you don't have enough Cinnabombs yet and they're close to building Sinistar, like, you kind of want to just, like, bomb it before it's finished so it takes them longer to build it. Um, so you have a little bit more time to get out here and shoot these things and get some... get some more Cinnabombs. But also, like, the, the 49-way stick, like, this game's very squirrely, like, super responsive in a way that's, like, satisfying, but also, like, it's kind of, 
It's got a specific feel to it that a lot of other games of the day definitely didn't have. And if you shoot the asteroids too much, they eventually do blow up. You get a little bit of points for, for blowing them up, but it's not worth it. You want to kind of shoot them enough so they start dispensing bombs, but usually you don't want to blow them up. Or, I mean, you can. There's enough of them. Uh, there, there are some stages that have way fewer uh, rocks for you to blow up. Beware, I live. Fuck. Alright, so as soon as Sinistar is alive, he will come hunting for you. If you look at the radar up there, he will eventually show up and start coming. But we're invincible, so it's kind of okay. There he is. He's over there on the left. Look at this fucker. Run, coward. Oh. I hunger, coward. So we would be dead. He would make a growling noise and we would blow up. Uh, let's dump some bombs. Fuck off, Sinistar. We cheated and defeated the Sinistar. And then it warps you to the next level, but still lets you kind of change direction, because, I don't know, old video games. Sorry, your holiday choices were disrupted. Actually, you know, honestly, dude, I, I hope, I mean, obviously, we wish her the best of health and hope that she fully recovers. Um, but on some level, like, I am fucking stoked to not have to go anywhere tonight. <laughs> uh, both of us, my wife and I, both are just like, oh, all right. Just have a low key end of the year, and just it's been such a a wild fucking year for us here, and then obviously like out in the world, it's been even fucking crazier. Like, I, the last thing I want to go do is argue with relatives about the state of the world. So, so yeah, tomorrow, uh, you know, we'll go see my mom, and that's great. Um, Beware, I live. I hunger. I used to skip the family thing a lot more frequently. Um, I hunger. When my, uh, when my dad was alive, I there were some years where he just wouldn't go. Beware, coward. Because so he. Just, you know, and uh, if he wouldn't go, I wouldn't go <laughs> most of the time. So, you know, that was back when I had roommates and you know, we would just kind of hang around and have a drink or something. Uh, one of my roommates worked for like a food delivery company, and uh, you know, he drove trucks for him, drove around to restaurants and, and shit like that. And so, his like one of his bonuses that he would get every Christmas was just like, here's a gigantic roast. And then you know we're idiots, so we don't know how to fucking prepare something nice like a big gigantic fucking roast. So we're like buying meat thermometers and trying to figure it out like okay well if it's if it's below this temperature that's probably not cool where I live look at how fast they built that fucking sinistar like this is scary I we weren't invincible coward. done So we would cook that roast, and, you know, we were idiots and just, like, didn't really care about the roast because it was, like, free or whatever, so, you know, everyone, you know, I was going to, like, a proper family thing on Christmas Day or most of the time, so. So we would just cook this roast and hope for the best, and sometimes it wouldn't come out, and we'd just like, alright, well, we're throwing away this gigantic meat thing. It's a bummer. Um, one year we got it in our heads that, like, MSG is good. We're like, fuck it, no, MSG is what makes things good, so we're gonna slather this thing in MSG. And it was fine, I don't know, I don't have any ill effects from from MSG intake, so it wasn't like, I don't know, some people got like headaches or something, right? Beware, I 
Yeah. This is like barely a game at this point. Like I'm just run, run, run. I don't need to shoot any of this stuff. I'll just sit here, wait for them to build the sixth star, and then just mash the bomb button until it blows up because it automatically homes in. Report came back about MSG being bad is 100% made up. Yeah, I believe it. I don't know what that really was. So this void zone, you see there are very few planetoids, so you kind of need to come into the stage with a bunch of Cinnabombs already um, because it, it becomes more difficult to mine them. You see that turret actually bounced that, I don't know if you do it on purpose, but it bounced that bomb away. <laughs> this is really cool about that. I like what they're doing at the top of the screen in this game. If you think about like games like Defender as being like some of the first games with the radars and, and stuff like that, like when I shoot these bombs out here, it lets you know Cinnabomb intercepted. It lets you know that it didn't reach its target. Uh, but it also, like, this gives you an idea of which direction the Sinistar is. And there it is. So we can kind of delay the construction of Sinistar here. You know, that doesn't... That doesn't get us out of the level. Um, there's an Amiga game. Um, there's there's a Sinistar game for Amiga that is like not legit. Uh, but it is thought of very highly, as I understand it. Uh, I believe it's called Sinistar Unleashed. Look at Sinistar, this motherfucker. That's right. say yes i mean it's the same company right like this is okay there Can canonically we're calling it right here right now this is satan's hollow 2 let's play satan's hollow 1 god this game is so good satan's hollow is so good Obtain bridge pieces, bridge pieces by shooting the enemy. Get bridge piece from left side and deposit the piece on the right. So this bridge building mechanic is the thing that makes this game different, you know? Like, otherwise, oh, fucking shit, man. It's like somebody drank most of a fucking four loco and then tried to play fucking Satan's Hollow. Each kill builds a bridge piece, so you kind of want to only kill one at a time, then bring the bridge piece over, and then kill another one, and to spawn a new bridge piece. If you want to quickly build the bridge, that is. There we go. Now we get to fight Satan. Or maybe this is just like the little devil. Yeah. Done. And now we fight Satan. Done. Get a bridge piece for it and everything. And another flag. Those flags are where it get counted up when you make it to the other side of the bridge. Hey, they're trying to steal an extra life. Games that do that are fuckers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Also, you see we have a sick dual cannon. For beating Satan, you get a, a like a weapon upgrade. Or I guess for, for going to the other side and back. Any chance this game was played with a dial or paddle? No, no, this was a joystick game. Y'all thinking? No, no. I think it's a really neat idea, like this, like mix of like, okay, you're doing like shooting, like it was Phoenix or any any other, you know, game like this. Uh, but then also, there's this whole concept of building this bridge and getting to the other side, and and you know, like it's just it's neat. Satan's kind of a punk. The Mac version of Dark Castle. Yeah, I could see it. Also, I get more room to move as I build the bridge. And enemies start dropping things that can destroy your bridge pieces, which is... a hassle, honestly. Ran out of shield. Oh, fuck me. It's kind of silly that Satan is one of the easiest enemies in this entire game, but whatever, dude's a punk. Your score ranking is one. Hmm. This is the same hardware that like Tron and Tapper ran on. And I can never remember if these are two initial games or three initial games. I think it's a two. Yep. You know, they hadn't standardized that shit yet. How many initials do we let people enter? If it's three, they're just going to put sex or ass. This is part of the Bridge Constructor series. This is the original Bridge Constructor. I played some of that Portal game. I don't know. It's okay. I ended up skipping most of the dialogue. Like, I feel like the joke of, like, hey, it's GLaDOS. Like, really... They don't. They kind of don't do anything with it. It just feels like another Bridge Constructor game, but it has portals in it, so it's a little different. Um, it's, it's fine. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it, but it, it didn't definitely didn't seem like, hey, this huge, big thing either. Well, that's that. Gargoyle, rocks, eggs. That's Santa's Hollow. It's a real good game. What else? Some girly block. I'm just gonna play your weird porno mahjong games.
This is probably a waste of time because I don't think they ever hooked it up right. Um, this is a game that should have 49-way joystick support, but it does not in uh, in MAME. I you know that's... Midway presents NFL Blitz 99! Like, I just had to, kind of can't really enjoy this game with an eight-way stick. That's, I realize what that sounds like, but you just don't have enough control over the movement. Um, I keep meaning to jump past, and I'm just not remembering really what the buttons are here. I took out my primary receiver and I uh, did it for the game. Incomplete! Okay, so that's changed player. Okay. version of Blitz is this. This is Blitz 99. It's the same version I have sitting out in the in the room with the, in the, the shitty zone. chandelier. Yeah. The yeah. other yeah. arcade machines. Third down and goal. Oh, oh, yeah. It's hard to keep the AI out that close. It's doable. But... Like, this is just a nuance to the movement you get with a 49-way stick that, like, you can't do uh, with an 8-way stick. It's why the home version of the game tried to use analog sticks, which is also not a great solution to the problem. Because uh, the analog stick just doesn't feel tight enough. Very 
little time left. First and 30. Mitchell. It might be. It is. You think you could take me, huh? What's the difference between the 49-way stick and analog? I mean, an analog is way more than 49 points of, of articulation or whatever, right? Um, but a 49-way stick still feels just like an 8-way stick or something like that. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have a gate on it, uh, so you can kind of rotate it, you know, however you want. It's, it's, it's smooth all the way around. Um, whereas, you know, like a octagonal gate or a square gate or something like that, like you feel the edges of it, this is, it's a more rounded feel. Um, but it lets you very finely jerk in a direction, which when you're dealing with the AI especially, um, the AI will dive based on where you are heading. It will try to target you. So there are things you can do, even with players, because the player dives will usually kind of guide a little bit. So if you get up close to a player and juke at the last second, just bop, bop, just a little bit to the right and then back, um, they will sometimes dive wide and you can kind of cut around them. With an eight-way stick, it's you commit way more because you're just suddenly running diagonally immediately. It's not a more of a g -g -g, it's more of a it's g -g -g. And so that usually leaves you less time to get around them. Uh, and uh, it feels bad, basically. Like, it just feels bad. I should write to the developers of MAME and say they need to support 49-way sticks in this game via analog the same way they do in Sinistar. That would be better than what they have. Oh, I wish I could do that myself. I wish I was smart enough to help in a more direct way. Atlanta! Second down. Spin deflection. Who called that play? And he just had I'm him for a run. Lining up for the field goal. The kick is oh, up. These bottom plays here on the first page are good because if you dump off, oh, okay, well that didn't work out at all. Illustrate a point. Instead, we got intercepted. Anyway, those bottom plays, when you dump off uh, the ball behind the line of scrimmage as the quarterback, the quarterback then goes out for the pass, uh, and, and none of the AI ever covers the quarterback in that case. It's kind of a free play. I mean, you know, like players, human players can adjust to it, but generally speaking, try it again. First down. So the quarterback goes out. You know, he just he hit the quarterback. He, he kind of gets covered there, depending on what the what defense they call. I guess. I guess he does get covered. Oh, oh. Man. All right, let's stop fucking. It's the end of the third quarter. First and goal. Like, I bet you can get used to the eight-way joystick stuff. I mean, obviously you could, you know, it's, just, it's, it's a different game. It's not the game. It's not my NFL voice. Third down and goal. Deflection. Fourth and goal to go. Ball at the ten. Oh shit. Wow. Pulls it in. 
Also on defense, uh, on the punt return, there's definitely an art to juking and faking out the AI that's in front of the ball carrier so that you can kind of get around them that you that is much harder to do with an eight-way stick. Or whatever that's for. They should have passed it. They're gonna off that kick, aren't they? Pulls it in! Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no. And the clock is ticking down. First of 30. 30. Nice. Keep hitting the wrong button, but we won anyway. This game is covering chat on this monitor, but I have chat on my laptop over here. So, any idea what's going on with NBA Showtime and Mame? It was never emul emulated properly. You know, let's check it out because they have been making. Uh, improvements on the Zeus hardware, uh, which powers the grid. And I believe Showtime was also in with that. Let's see, what do we want? We want NBA Showtime Gold NFL Blitz 3.0 Sports Station, which I have a, Steve Lynn gave me a, a Showtime Blitz board that I brought into the office, but I ended up not needing it. Sound, hmm, let's see. The grid runs now. The grid is not run. In, like, for years they've had the grid in there as not working and all this other stuff. It's not perfect, but you can play the grid now. Uh, like, recently. And I remember we interviewed Ed Boone years ago, and he said there was something about the hardware where it used, like, triangles instead of, uh, uh, you know, four-sided uh, polygons. Um and that that was hard for modern graphics cards to render, so it was hard for them to port it to other platforms, which is why the grid never showed up anywhere else, and all this other stuff. Um, and it was broken in MAME for years and years and years and years and years, and it was really, I, I think it was this calendar year that it finally started working. Um, and I feel like Showtime, oh no, it just rebooted. So, okay, well, the gold doesn't work, but I guess this is Vegas, not Zeus. It's a different... Um, it's a different chunk of hardware, but let's let's see if this older version that doesn't have a blitz in it boots. But I'm so stoked that the grid runs now. It's not perfect, and you can't link it up because obviously, like the best way to play that game was was it six cabinets linked or four? I, I forget how many you could do, but. Um, I think it was four, but anyway, like is it, it's it's a third person. It's like a, an arena shooter uh, with a like a trackball in the arcades, and so it was like a quake style almost thing, but like a game show like Smash TV, and you, like Scorpion was in it and shit like that. It's just fucking weird, um, and it's this one off game that they made that the creators of Mortal Kombat developed, and and uh, if you go to California Extreme, which is here in California, um. Someone always brings like a four cabinet setup of the grid uh, set up for multiplayer. And yeah, you're right. It looks like Showtime just doesn't work. Well, it's booting. Let's see. Restream. Yeah, we, uh, we have used Restream at work in my day job. We have definitely... Uh, we have used Restream here and there. Uh, there are a few other services like that that are a little um, that do things a little differently. But yeah, yeah, we have we have used Restream to hit multiple servers. We have enough bandwidth in the building that we don't really need to do it. But our rack-mounted streaming box, Epifan Pearl, um, has been fucked up for apparently a long time, um, where it would just stutter just the littlest bit every few seconds. And they just pushed a firmware update. We've been 
Jason's been talking to their tech support for a very long time about this stuff and like, hey, this is a problem. And they've been like, what? And they just pushed a firmware update that seems to correct it. So I'm hoping for 2018 we will have corrected that issue. Um, but we were definitely looking at like, okay, if the Pearl can't do what we need it to do, then it's like, okay, we need Restream or we need some other similar service um, to make sure that we're pushing out a clean feed places, you know? This looks like it's not going to actually display polygons. Uh, restream seem to add a noticeable delay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're like latency dependent, uh, if you really want a low latency stream, then obviously any kind of external service that you pass through is, is going to, you know, add latency, um, to that sort of stuff. Um, does this play the NBA on NBC, NBC theme? I mean, yes, this won't, but the board I have sitting next to my desk at the office certainly will. I got to bring that home. I should hook that up in my Blitz cabinet, but like there's something about like that Blitz cabinet is original. It's it's as it was when I got it, uh, when they showed up and uncrated it in my driveway and rolled it into my garage and I haven't touched anything on it. There's a later revision of Blitz 99 that I could like flash to it or, or install ROMs for it. Um, but it's exactly as it was when I got it. And I like that. Uh, but at the same time, like people sell like, uh, so that the, that, that has a hard drive in it. This does is also Showtime blitz killer instinct, like, uh, you know, arcade games of that era started to have hard drives in the cabinet. And so on eBay, people just sell replacements for the hard drive that are compact flash cards and interfaces. So you can hook the CF card up to like the IDE interface or whatever it is. And then you suddenly get way faster load times and it's a lot more resilient, obviously than a physical hard drive. And I keep thinking like, I should just do that. Like I should just buy the upgrade and the CF replacement and just put that in there because it would load faster. But honestly, I don't use the Blitz machine that much. I wish I did, but honestly, like I don't, there's no one near here that, that will play Blitz with me. Um, I got pretty good at that game and I played a little bit recently and I'm still all right at it. I'm sure that there are people out there that would fucking wipe me up um, because I'm not tight like I used to be. Um, but uh, it's been the dumb curse of owning a blitz cabinet is that the only people that were ever any good at it were people that were at the office and there was a cabinet at the office. So I didn't, you know, so I just had a cabinet here that no one would play. And, uh, so I fixed the blitz cabinet at the office and, um, I've been watching people play it. Uh, there've been a lot of people, a lot of people play Showtime, which is a bummer. I mean, Showtime's a great game, but like, I'm, I want people to get really good at Blitz and then I want to play them. <laughs> like I'm kind of letting them organically play Blitz without me in hopes that like, they'll like start feeling themselves. And then, and then hopefully like, honestly, I want to be able to, I want to step up to the cabinet and have those people fuck me up. I want to, I want to lose. Um, I want them to get that good. This is the NBA on NBC. Yeah, I won't even get past this screen, will it? I'm gonna run to the bathroom. On account of I drank an entire four loco. You understand. Uh, I'll be back in a sec.
Okay. Hi. I had some turkey jerky. Hung out with my wife for a little bit. Fed my cat. And this says, please use up all credits. But I don't think this is going to get in game. I think it's just broken, right? It's fucking hot as fucking here. Heat are too strong. All right. Heat are now lower. Yeah, this is just going to reset. You were right. Showtime does not work. What did you guys get your cat for Christmas? The medicine it needs to stay alive, honestly. It doesn't get much more than that these days. That stuff's so fucking expensive. Uh, but the grid, uh, I doubt I'll have, uh, controls configured for it, but the grid is a strange game. Stream on Twitch to pay for, for cat meds. Yeah, very 2017. Hit me up on Kofi.com. For... Loading times in arcade games. End of the world right there, man. Rasu does the Liu Kang kick as a special. You've got two minutes to get four points. Good luck. Yeah. So by default, this game doesn't even really truly have mouse look. Like, it had a trackball uh, using a mouse to approximate that. Um, um, but if you wanted mouse look, there was like a code you would enter. Like like the NBA Jam big head mode and all that other stuff. They had a bunch of codes in this game to play as other... Uh, Good luck! Was this an attempt to update Smash TV? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of elements from Smash TV in, in this thing, for sure. Strange game. game. And playing it with a mouse on a PC, like it kind of doesn't translate because you're like, man, I could be playing so many like better competitive shooters. Good luck. You'll oh. But yeah, I talked to uh, some people who uh, 
at the studio uh, made this game originally. You know, it makes uh, hits like Mortal Kombat and Injustice. And it definitely seemed like there was some desire to make this again or do something with this, but it just uh, maybe the business end of it never quite made sense. But it was also heartening to hear that they had run those numbers multiple times over the years. Like, no, can we, can we make it? Can we make another? Can we do the grid? Can we do it? I wonder if that studio will ever make anything other than a fighting game ever again. You know? Like now they're on this cycle of Mortal Kombat and Injustice that just seems to keep going and whatever. Like the games are good. Good luck. At the same time, I think if I... I don't know that I could work on one type of game forever. Like, I, it's impressive, right? The, the, these pool balls are clearly not drawn in all the way. <laughs> So, you know, obviously some graphical glitches, uh, not perfect emulation, but I am playing this game. Yeah, that's uh, it, you're right. This sh sure is a midway game. <laughs> You've got two minutes to get eight points. Good luck. But I want to say, like, you could. I mean, yeah, there are more. There are Mortal Kombat characters in this game. And you can you can use secret codes to play as. And I want to say, like, Scorpion has the spear. Like, he'll drag characters over to over to him to. So you can fuck them up. This was also right around the time that Midway bought Atari, uh, or Atari's arcade uh, arm, whatever that was at the time. And so this was right around the time that a game called War Final Assault came out, which was a first-person shooter with a very similar idea. It was just like, hey, here's a first-person shooter. But it had, like, levels. Like, you would you would play through levels and fight AI and get to the end of the level and all that sort of stuff. But ideally, it was linked cabinets playing competitive multiplayer just like this was, uh, but first-person instead of uh, third and I want to say it had like four buttons for like movement, the way like to do like a WASD equivalent, basically like four joystick, like like arcade style buttons uh, that would move you around. I'm out of time. I gotta get three kills. I'm out of time. We lose. And this and War came out around the same time, and neither of them made it to home consoles. War was announced at one point. And then the midway buyout happened, and it kind of just drifted away, I guess. Um, and War wasn't bad either for what it was, uh, but at the same time, it was sort of like a strange game of just Guess like, hey, you know, like if stay at the luxurious Midway Meridian Hotel, located in the heart of Chicago, Illinois. Want to get your grid on? Check out the Midway Meridian. If you're going to be in the Chicagoland area and would like to be a member of our studio audience, send a postcard to I Wanna Get My Grid On, 2727 West Roscoe, Chicago, Illinois, 60618. That's Midway fucking amazing. No liability for injuries, dismemberment, or hurt feelings inflicted upon any contestants or audience members during the taping of the grid, that's what you get. You should send a postcard. You should look up where the Nether Realm offices are currently in Chicago. It's not that address anymore. I think they've moved. But you should send them a postcard that says, "I want to get my grid on," 
and see what happens. What kind of options does this have? Yeah, a little analog there. Look at that. If System 16 is to be believed, this game's GPU was an FPGA. Huh. I mean, the... The Zeus hardware is strange. <laughs> I do know that much. Um, what else ran on it? Did, um, did War Gods run on the same... No. No, that's that's not War Gods is a bad game. Oh, you know what? I think there's a there's a golf game. There's like Midway Skins game or something like that. That's also Zeus hardware. I think that's what the main developer was working on trying to fix, and then the grid kind of started working along the way while they were improving that emulation, if I remember right. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. High, high kick, high punch, block. So it's boom, 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 boom. So it's a, it's a backwards Z shape. Backwards Z shape, so that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and that's six, right? Yeah, block, boom, 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 did it, did it. I'm too good at, this. I'm too good at doing this, that's stupid. War Gods ain't no Mace the Dark Age or Bio Freaks. I mean, yeah, you're... You're right. Except that all the games we're talking about super fucking Warhead. suck. You are chosen. This came out before MK4, and... Uh, as I understand, it was originally like designed as like, Hey, what... Could we make a... Can we make uh, Mortal Kombat 4 a 3D game? And then we did this. And this game sucks. Unbelievable. Like you 
if you think about it, it has very similar buttons, obviously, like a you know, down a high punch is, is that that uppercut. Warhead wins. Round two. Begin. But instead of a run button, it had a 3D button. So when you held down the equivalent of the run button, you could kind of do this eight-way step, this you know, step into the background and stuff. It's conceptually strange. Just this game never felt good. Even even when it first came out, there's no point where people were like, "This is awesome." It was just like this. Sucks. I should finish this. You know, we're gonna look. Christmas. Uh, we're gonna finish War Gods because I'm curious to see the credits in it because I've never been clear on who made War Gods. Also, I don't know what the supers are or what the specials are, rather. There you go, I proved myself. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Round one, begin. I'm just trying forward, forward, back, back, like this. Alright, someone in chat, do me a solid and fucking look up a fucking War Gods fact and tell me what War Gods are. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Round two. Begin. <laughs> I remember seeing this game in arcades and, you know, hearing like, oh, this is, you know, this is like kind of the future of Mortal Kombat or something, like it's kind of doing a thing. I mean, so fucking bummed out. <laughs> this game's just terrible. Okay, so back to, okay, half circle forward. Why do I have so much trouble with that? Oh, you hold three weeks. Shockwave, 3D. Is that hold 3D, then back to forward? It's not working. Danger! Prove yourself! Full screen, 3D, forward, down, forward, down. Okay, so. Getting any of this to come in. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. But yeah, this was yes, this was kind of a test for uh, for MK4. Round one. Begin. <laughs> Three damage combo from the AI. Thanks. Opposite of Scorpion. Well, oh, not the opposite. But... This thing just feels so stiff. 
I mean, MK4 kind of does too. I mean, MK4 is better than this for sure, but man. Danger. That game. I still More remember, I've told the story news. before, but Earth we went to victory. Golf Land and they were showing him. And there was a Mortal Kombat 4 truck tour. And they drove around the country in a truck and showed uh, Mortal Kombat 4. They brought it, uh, you know, like a, a distributed location test. Me and Ryan McDonald went to play some MK4 before it was out. The first time seeing the game. And it's, we played the game a few times. Was, you know, a bunch of people showed up to. Warhead wins. And someone asked, like, hey, um, someone, some dude. Asked us what we thought. We both kind of shrugged. We're like, yeah, it's not really. I don't know. It doesn't seem very good. And it turned out he was the like, PR guy for Midway Arcade. I was like, oh, well, oh, hmm, hmm. It's like, yeah. Sorry, dude. It's not very good. By the time it came out, it was better. But not. Not better enough. But like, I don't know, I, I probably reviewed Mortal Kombat Gold on Dreamcast and kind of said good things about it, because like, you know, the launch of Dreamcast, it was probably still a really good fighting game. Still not getting any specials out. I don't know. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Round. Decided on the War Gods begin. wiki page. Yeah, that is. Uh, three down, down, back down. Hold three. Like the, the notation there seems like it's hold the three button, then do a full circle back. I'm not getting anything out. This just feels so fucking bad. I like it that it doesn't show the opposing character's name. Does this dude Kabuki? Probably, right? It's, it's, it's what this character has to be named, right? Danger! Prove yourself! Full screen, 3D, forward to back, Perfect victory. forward down back, high kick, yeah. forward back, high punch, yeah. wait, why is it, why is it me, really high punch?
I didn't say I wanted to get better at Gaz. I said I just wanted to see it through and see what the credits for this game look like. I'm sure there's an easier way to find this information, but they were here. Time expired. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. <laughs> Oh, word? Sweeps in, but not four. That sound effect when you get stuck with his horns also has a in case. Time expired. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Round two. Begin. Yeah, I don't know, I can't get any fucking specials to come out at all. I have to go to myself, you know, and truly get better at War Gods. There, I did some chip damage, we're fine. Perfect, did it again. Man, how many more fucking fights are there? Round one, begin. This fucking full gore cosplayer. <laughs> With the Cyrax net. Oh!
time expired. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Techno Man. Round one. Begin. <laughs> It's bad that now I have this like fucking grinding feeling of just like I need to figure out how to do the specials in War Gods because this, this is making me crazy. I can't do anything. I'm angry. This game. Not since Way of the Warriors, like, Way of the Warrior, have been so angry about the way a game handled its specials. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Round two. Begin. <laughs> Land one hit. Just one. Hey. A four. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. There's a lot of motherfuckers in there. Alright, mirror match. Okay, we're getting close. Round one. Begin. Flawless fucking strategy. Yeah. Yo, he just made a dinosaur bones coming out of the ground. That's stupid. Yeah, let's see. Okay, see? See, he's shooting missiles. He's punching the ground. Stomping? It turns out work had his ill. Mash low punch to get some damage in. Wed wins. Perfect victory. Fuck. Round one. Begin. Does Mortal Kombat 1 this fucking guy? Just do these hop kicks? I guess MK2 was hop kicks, MK1 was Warhead hop punches. Wins. Totally different. Perfect victory. Round 2. Begin. <laughs> Seriously? Jesus. 
Slasher. Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Dumb looking motherfucker. Round one. Begin. <laughs> This is fun. And this game didn't come home, right? But Biofreaks did. Like Biofreaks was originally supposed to come to arcades, and I think it ended up being home only. I was, gonna, I was about to say the Bob Freaks was an even bigger mess than this, but actually, it's hard to imagine anything being a bigger mess than this right now. This one? This one? The Wargoth was? Okay. Alright. In my mind, this one stayed in arcades and bio freaks came home but, but yeah, yeah. all right begin wait so he won Warhead wins. I reviewed this before. Yeah, that sounds like something I would have done. Sure. Begin. Still move, you know. That'd be cool, right? Ah, oh, I got the aggro crag, sick. Yeah! Warhead wins. Perfect victory. Well, what are the endings look like? War. Okay. Exor, sure. Alright, okay, yeah. But war, like the gods themselves, is eternal. Okay, all right. Matt Booty. Matt Booty's at Microsoft running Minecraft. So this is not the Mortal Kombat team. Um, what do we got here? I bet they were pissed that some other team was making a fighting game, or maybe they were just like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you guys test the new hardware. We're we're the Mortal Kombat team. We're not. We're gonna let you guys make garbage." Uh, and test it out for us. Kerry Hoskins. Eddie, uh, for, he's, he's in another realm now. John Root beat me in a uh, Mortal Kombat 3 tournament at the Scandia nearby and then went to go work for Midway. And then we worked for Id for a while when they were doing Rage and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, special thanks to Termel, Eugene Jarvis. Yeah, okay. Happy to share all these. Oh. It's Matt Booty in the lower right there. worth it. This was all worth it. Wore my sandals on picture day. Did you put 
be near a spaceship? Paulo Garcia, he's uh, he has ascended from Tester to a key figure on the Nether Realm fighting game team as well. Uh, that's that's fucking war gods. And I'm gonna go to bed. It's eleven thirty. So, uh, yeah, everybody have a good night, have a good Christmas, all that sort of stuff. Hang in there, you know, sometimes these holidays can be fucking tricky, right? But, uh, you know, either you're doing stuff with your family or it's just another day and maybe you get the day off and you get to kind of lay low a little bit, whatever works out for you, uh, Personally, I'm into the idea of laying low for a little while and, you know, doing some Christmas stuff, but but primarily, like, just fucking relax. It's been such a crazy year. Um, Game of the Year stuff goes up in the morning. I'm pretty sure all the day one stuff is ready. I got to get up and, and make sure it's all ready in the morning, but but most of it's there. So, yeah. Um, so that stuff start going up at 8 Pacific. Uh but the homepage won't change until 10 Pacific. Uh, we got some new promo units that are going in to kind of highlight the guest lists and the staff top tens and that sort of stuff. So that'll go in. Uh, so check that stuff out. And yeah. I'll see y'all soon. Take care. Hang in there.